So I've been there, done that, got several t-shirts, love it. But I wrote this song about a guy that wanted to go see the Grateful Dead really, really, really bad. In his trials and tribulations in obtaining what's known in that circle as a miracle ticket. My future lies ahead. I want a tie dyed shirt, pair of Birkenstock sandals, and a ticket to the grave for that. Well, I call the hotline every day, 1 900 dead. When I finally get through to the other side, this is what the dude said. He said, You can't dance, or you can't groove, you can't even sway. So leave your flowers, seeds, beads, and weeds. Show sold out today. And I said, well, shit. Because I've been sending my name legibly correctly printed on the three by five index card to the Grateful Dead headquarters. I ain't got shit. And then I saw that Grateful Dead sticker on the back of that BMW Mount Brook. I said, fuck it. I want to know what is going on. I want to get into the field zone, so to speak. So I called a friend who had a friend who had a sister named Jane. She earned her wings at Woodstock, chanting in the rain. She said, sure, I know old Jerry. I used to date his best friend, Paul. You swap me a hunk of that hash you bought. I'll give him a call. Uh, so pay attention because this is interesting and very in-depth. So I thought, well, shit, I'm into the barter system and I want to go see the Grateful Dead because all the kids in Brook Mountain Brook Junior High are going and God damn it, I want to go. So I did a little quick inventory in my closet to see what I might have to swap this young lady for that concert ticket to go see the Grateful Dead. I had about six ounces of damn good Alabama grown marijuana. And I'm talking diggity 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 dang shit. Also had about 17 quaaludes left over from 1974 at the other end of the bar. And there at the bottom of the closet, what I needed to make this deal, I had 840 thousand pounds of hash. You're thinking to yourself, my God, Rick, that's a lot of hash. And you're right. But with that much hash, you find it kind of hard to hide it. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could kind of consolidate that. That's a big word I learned in Selma when I was going to junior high school. Consolidate. So I called up a friend of mine, he's got a car crushing machine, and I said, dude, I got 840,000 pounds of hash. He said, no shit. I said, yeah. He said, well, hell, bring it down here. We'll crush that shit down. So I rented a flatbed trailer and a tractor and a big, large tarp. Covered it up, drove it down to Selma. He took it, got a train, grabbed that big old hunk of hash, put it in the car crushing machine. <laughs> sure enough, Bubba had crushed 840,000 pounds of hash into a size of a block about the size of a Yeti cooler. Hell yeah, Bubba. Needless to say, now I had a lot of money because I had a Yeti cooler. Here's my political statement for today, and I'm going to get an amen out of you, I guarantee you. Back in my day, instead of putting a, an ice chest sticker on the back of our car, it'd be like the Rolling Stones, the Grateful Dead, the Almond Brothers. Now, it's a fucking ice chest. So, what I would highly recommend you to do if you, on the back of your car, on the back of your truck, you got a Yeti sticker, leave way before I do. Because I don't give you shit about that. Hell yeah. Or you can loan me 50 bucks because you obviously you got the money. So anyway, back to my story, I had that little block about the size of a Yeti cooler. 
Still had the flatbed truck, I loaded the little ice chest back on the flatbed truck, rode it back to Indian Springs where I live, pulled out a welding torch, cut that some bitch in half, had 420,000 pounds at this point. I called up the girl that had the great for that concert ticket. I said, look here, baby, I got 420,000 pounds of hash. I'll swap you for that Grateful Dead concert ticket because I want to see Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. She said, cool. Thank you, Jerry. So about a week later, there it was in my mailbox, marked with them little dancing bears. My ticket to the Grateful Dead and excitement it was a bang. So I filled up a VW bus with gas, I put my best dashiki on, I rolled 75 joints of real good grass, left the best bugs for my mom, say goodbye to dad, pat a dog on the head, I was on my way, Hampton, three days away. So when I'm high on living, and my future lies ahead, I want a tie-dyed shirt, pair of Birkenstock sandals, and a ticket to the grave for that. Are you with me on my story so far? Yeah! Say hell yeah! Hell yeah! All the people outside are going, what the hell? <laughs> so anyway, I got my ticket there. I was on my way to the concert event of my lifetime, and excitement was a band. So I... I pulled into the parking lot It was a sight to see They had carrots, tofu, peanut butter Pita bread with cheese On that sunshine rainbow butterfly Abby Hoffman's niece And a girl named Janet Planet Offered me some LSD So friends, what could I do? I looked around me at the Grateful Dead concert And there was a whole lot of hippies some hippie wannabes, some grilled cheese vendors, oh, yeah. trust affairs, credit card hippies, and people from Mount Brook. <laughs> I said, yes ma'am, I want to try me some LSD because I want to expand my mind. She said, well, hold out your hand. I held out my hand. She put a little tiny piece of true story about that big, maybe a little bit bigger, depending on how old I was. I had to close, I had to hold it up. But it, it had a picture of James Brown on it. Ha! I said, shit. I breathe Rolling Stone. I know what that is, a brown ass. <laughs> I turned it over on the other side, little tiny words that said, I feel good. I went, shit, yeah. As soon as I popped it in my mouth, she looked at me with extreme exasperation and said, Dude, that was a four-way hit. About 30 minutes, I was on a trip without my luggage. Panic was widespread. The cheese was stringy as a son of a bitch, and I was tripping. But after a while, I said, Well, shit, this ain't too bad. I looked around at the Grateful Dead concert. And there was some dancing going on. I'm going to give you a sample of it right here. I call it swatting bugs out your face because they ate too much brown acid dance. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm not really sure what that means, but I guarantee you some Caucasians will do that here tonight. <laughs> more power to them. But after a while, I got tired of dancing. Oh, let me borrow your hat, brother. I got another day. I'll give it back to you. Mm -hmm. Almost a chord you hit there. This right here is what I call my widespread panic board look like. Yeah. Dude. Halloween, fuck it. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Marty, dude. Y'all ain't all good, man, for you. The boys do what I call a white boy chicken down like this. So you get old, you get to, you get to make fun of shit. Nobody gives you any shit because you ain't do it. You just tell me, fuck off. But after a while, I got tired of dancing. You could tell it was hard. I began to hop. I couldn't stop. thought it was going to drop. I kissed a cop. 
It was early Sunday morning when I found myself in jail. I had to hop my ticket just to get my bail. Say with me. So when I'm howling in my future lies ahead, I want a tie-dyed shirt, pair of Birkenstock sandals, and a ticket to the Grateful Dead. I want a tie-dyed shirt, pair of Birkenstock sandals, and a ticket. Make some noise for Jerry. Thanks for listening to me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good time tonight. Thanks.